Hi, Trini. Hello, Kai. What are we doing today? I thought we're going to do occasion dressing. Fabulous. I'm in a new dress, which I haven't worn. And I want to talk about all the different ways that I think about occasion dressing. Because I think it's not just about buying that dress you never wear. And I have a few of those. I think we all, I'm sure you have them in your wardrobe, Jemima. Yeah. You know, I want to show you when I did different looks that I loved and we can look at them. But I'm going to start with this. And what's interesting about this is I had um, a Susanna come around one day um, before lockdown and she said, Trini, Trini. I have this incredible fabric. Trini, we have to make a dress from this fabric. So she showed me this fabric. And I thought, wow, that's a beautiful fabric. So then we thought, what would the fabric live with? You know, so it's a weird way to start making a dress. But then we took inspiration from two dresses. This dress from Zimmerman, which I love, and I love the shape of, and I love the fit and the round neck, and I love the sort of volume in the sleeve. And we took a bit of inspiration from this Roxander dress. Oh, I didn't um, know that. So those two sort of became this. It's a really beautiful dress. And the thing is, it is that kind of a dress that I'll wear if I was ever going to ask it again in my life, which I haven't been to for years, but I used to go to for years and years, that I might wear it for that with a very clean hat. I'd definitely wear it for a wedding because I'd feel fun in it. And if I had to go, you know, to a garden party at Buckingham Palace, I'd wear it. It's that kind of dress. It's not revealing too much flesh. It's all about the dress. It's hardly about me. I think it's timeless. I would wear that. Well, it's here. You want to wear it? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. okay, this is called the multi dress. Now, I have got this dress from Vent of Antwerp in about six colours. And I have the polka dot, which you might remember. I've got the silver, which you might remember from occasion dressing. I've got the blue, which is like my go-to everyday moment. I've got white and I've got red. <laughs> yeah. They can be dressed up or down. So in the daytime, and this might seem smart, but I love this look because there's a moment when you're going something in the daytime, which is smart, but you don't want to look like you made a huge effort. And with the trainer, it really helps. That's the thing. Trainers, having worn them all year, I just feel like I can dress down evening dresses and it makes them feel something different. So that's how I wear it for day. This jacket is Isabel Morant and it's a great jacket for occasion dressing and it goes over quite a few dresses. It was getting way too small. As you can tell, I'm having a real difficulty getting, getting it off. What S. Susanna did is she found some fabric, like a nylony pink, and she put it in there and she made the sleeve fit again because I could not get it over my sleeves. And when you go up close, you can't tell it's different fabric. No, she's even done the cross stitching. The same way. Clever, clever lady. She's fantastic. So evening wise, what I might do is I might take off the trainer, just put on, I'm just gonna put on these clergy just to have a shoe to show you. I could do a nice earring or I could just do my sort of disco ball, which I got years ago from Ericsson Beeman. I might just do a smoky eye. Lovely. And then I'm just ready to go. And it's aeration beyond. And it's a shape that I feel I can eat a lot in and not worry. So this doesn't constrict me. I still feel good about my arms. So if I was feeling not that brilliant about my tummy or I felt my legs were really heavy, which they can get to in summer, then I feel the confidence of my arms. She looks great. For this dress, I'm just going to put on some indie lip glow because I want a smattering of pink. Easy to give you an idea there so this dress i had made for my nephew's wedding and i it's in spain in the summer really hot i wanted something that felt elegant and i had a little cape that went over it but the origination of this dress came from a 10 year old zara dress that's zara and this is zara and it had such a great neckline i remember i so enjoyed wearing it and then it just got a little bit too short it's sort of above the knee for me now but I just love the back and I love the draping detail and it had the attention detail the design a dress would have. So I then, with Susanna's brilliant handiwork, we found a sort of really drapey thin silk jersey and we made it from that. I think I prefer the yellow. Do you? Especially white, when you've had it for a while. It, it looks a bit tired, yeah. doesn't it? I know, but I'm keeping it because I think Lionel might want to oh, wear it. Oh, so cute, she will. Yeah, she will want to wear it. So you've got to glide and I felt, you know, I felt sophisticated. I, I just feel great in this dress. And I, I love still the feel back. Great in this dress. And it still fits. Yes. <laughs> just. <laughs> this is about um, vintage dressing. And I think that, you know, when you're considering evening wear, vintage dressing is a fantastic way to go. Because first of all, you're doing a brilliant recycling job for the planet. And also you're wearing something that probably nobody else has got on. So I love Ossie Clark and Ossie Clark was an amazing designer in the seventies. 
and did some incredibly iconic dresses. And this is a classic dress of his. And I don't know if you remember, but ages ago when I did A Cold Confessions with Lucy, I had this dress and I put it on. It had this deep, deep, it had a line all the way here. And I thought, oh my God, I can't wear it again. This is an old Aussie Clark. And that was the look in the 70s, those flat chested girls. I've got menopausal post breasts, post menopausal breasts, but it doesn't work. So I was thinking, could we take this up but not take it up forever, Susanna, because one yes. day Lila will want to wear it and she'll want to wear that split. Exactly. But in the meantime, I still want to wear this dress because yeah. I love the sleeve. So it's like whether we take it all, I slightly am tempted to take it all the way up. And now I can wear it. Now it's immediately a dress that I can wear with a trainer casually. This could even be my Soho farmhouse casual outfit <laughs> with a trainer. And then it's got a lovely back. And I don't wear red often. And I kind of very rare that I would do a red lip with a red lip, but I've done this and I love it. I feel, I don't know, Jemima, if you, I mean, you know, you've seen me, you've had to edit so many of these films. Same Aussie Clark dress, but completely different vibe. It you is. love oh, the with sleeve the, with the red, and love the Sweeney. Vibe. Yeah, I think it, it gives it a different look. It does, but it's still very iconic. I think it's the sleeve. Yeah. You can't change the sleeve. No, I could never change the sleeve. That is the most iconic sleeve. But I love the bows and I love the back. Good. I'm gonna wear it again now, I'm very excited. <laughs> so I'm gonna talk about using separates to create evening looks. And I think I've got so many examples of this because we can show you now the Rosetta Getty. This will have so many places in my wardrobe. So it's a two piece skirt yeah. and top. So I will wear this top endlessly. With the gray, I like to do that kind of slightly Eugenie nude lip with a coolness to it. And then I've got the coolness of the universe with a little sort of beautiful, rich brown of the Empress. We can show you the Alice Templey. This is like my best color, makes me feel joyous. I can wear it with trainers. I've dressed it up and I've dressed it down. The list is endless. I do it often. And the joy of buying separates, skirt, and top is they have so many more uses. So you can make an evening dress from them, you can wear them as a skirt, as a top, with jeans, you know, so many different ways. So I love that, it's one of the most efficient ways of having evening looks. But I got the sax pot top and it's kind of fun, it's great for filming, it's got that lovely sort of shimmer effect and I wasn't wearing it that much, surprisingly. Joy of joys, I found in the sale, the skirt. Wow. They're meant to be together. Aren't they meant to be together? Well, obviously they're meant to be together. <laughs> <laughs> they look great together. But I just, I like that idea of what it is. And I can do it like that for evening and be quite sort of sexy. I, I could put on some earrings with it, do we think? Yeah. Be inspired. We could even do a pearl. Let's do a mad pearl. Let's go. Let's go full on. I think I might do full on. If I was really dressing it up, I might just do that. These are very old Marola, Kensington Church Street, 38 years ago. Wow. Yeah, that's so, so cool. So now, sort of a bit of glamour. What makeup are you wearing? Yes, you know what I did really quickly is I got Dahlia Lip Love and I put it on my lips and my cheeks and I put a tiny bit on my eye. Really nice. Yeah, it's just good with this. It needed some depth. Mm, I love the pearlescent metallic. Yeah. So now I can show you how I dress it down. Let's go. So this is my casual yet cool outfit. It's not casual, it's full on, but you know I'm a full on kind of girl. But I was thinking to myself, I'm, I am obsessed with what I'm gonna wear for this thing. And I just thought, I love the neon with the silver. You know, it's casually thrown together. I can wear this with trainers like I'm doing it now. I can wear it with a high heel, but this is the versatility. So when you're thinking about occasion dressing, think about what can you buy that you can wear in different ways? What can you buy that you can buy multiples of? So it's got to be something where, you know, the Essentials Antwerp was, they were 100 pounds in the sale and they were 210 when they weren't. And I got some in the sale and some not, but I wear, the cost per wear of their dresses is about two pounds. The one I have made, that's like a big expenditure, but I hopefully will wear it forever and ever. And the long dresses, as long as I feel good about my arms, I'll wear them. And if I don't, I'll just put something on top. So they'll never remain dusty in the cupboard. And if you've got evening wear, which you feel is dusty in the cupboard, do some swaps, call some friends. Just say, look, I've got five evening dresses. I've invested so much money in them. And then find girlfriends who have done the same and just swap some dresses out, you know, just so you feel refreshed. And then think of white trainers, you know, think how can you dress those dresses down? Because maybe we're not as much as we'd love to be going to as many weddings or parties as we have. 
So those clothes, as a section of wardrobe, which is remaining a little bit unworn, so how can you make it more wearable? Mm. Um, so, you know, changing your makeup, doing a fun lip or not bothering, you know, just doing one part of your makeup so you're not making the effort. Because when we do occasion, we want to do the lips and the eyes and the jewelry and the hair. So just doing one focus makes you look like you're not playing too hard. Huh? Love it. All right, well, you think of other things and we'll show you a few things now of my favorite bits. There's a few dresses that are miscellaneous that maybe I got years ago, like the, the, the orange and white check one, which I loved wearing, which Lila wants me to cut off five inches already <laughs> so she can wear it. I could have danced all night. I could have danced all night. There's, you know, the classic black tux. You know, I have this jacket forever. It's quite fitted really quite tight, but this is like a little corset in this jacket. And I can even just do that a bit more and I could have a push-up bra, you know, we could take it anywhere. And the back is just so beautiful. I think every woman should have a variation of her a black tux in her wardrobe. And I feel sexy in it. And whether you are curvy or straight up and down, a tux is beautiful. It's such a great investment, isn't it? It's really good. That sounds great. Have a All great right. weekend, Trini. Have a great weekend, darling, and leave below what you'd like us to do next. Bye. Bye.